Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn and I am back with another video. Listen, I hope y'all don't think that I'm like a makeup shopaholic because I'm not, but I have some things that I picked up recently that I want to share with you. So it's like a mini luxury beauty haul. So Pat McGrath was having a sale, okay? And so I think in one of my previous videos, I showed you that I picked up the concealer. Well, that concealer, I really, really love it. But the color that I picked up is like exactly my skin tone match. And so because of that, like it's great for like spot concealing, you know, like if I have like some hyperpigmentation from like a blemish that I had or something like that. It's also great for me for color correcting, but I really wanted to pick up a more highlighting shade. And so that's what I did. I picked up the shade D31. So uh, the shade I believe I have right now is D33. And let me show it to you. So this for me is definitely more of a highlighting shade and it has the neutral undertones, which I need because I'm neutral, slightly warm, and uh, I, I really, really love it. And a little bit goes a long way. So I actually am cocktailing those two concealers together. Now, I also wanted to try her foundation and I actually have it mixed today with the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. Um, this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Like, <laughs> that's a name. And I mean, first of all, let's just, the packaging, can we just, it's a beautiful frosted glass bottle, um, but her summer sale was 30% off. I picked up the shade Deep 33. So this was the same as my concealer. And it's a great match for me. I will say this, it's a little red on me, but I'm a really, really hard to match undertone for being as deep as I am. And then my undertone, so most of my adult life, I've cocktailed my foundations and that doesn't really bother me. So the NARS um, oxidizes on me a little bit and goes a little gray. So it like, <laughs> it actually mixes quite well with the Pat McGrath, but this is like super thin. It's almost watery. And with me having oily skin and living in Texas, like this is perfect, okay? I also went ahead and picked up um, another lip fetish and this is in Flesh 3. So in my previous video, I talked about the limited edition Flesh 7. I have a combination of Flesh 3 and Flesh 7 on together. So this one is not limited edition, but it was on sale, okay? And so um, it comes in this beautiful you know white um packaging with the lips very thin not as thick as her like lipsticks and this is the color it's like the perfect like slightly warm nude where i feel like flesh seven is like a neutral nude on me this is like slightly warm so if i want just a little bit more color in my nude i have this and the way i got turned on to this was i actually had a mini of this that I basically almost wore to the ground and I was like Evelyn get, get yourself a full size and then y'all I did pick up another mothership so this would be my fourth mothership <sighs> the illustrious bronze seduction now people love this palette okay and some people think it's a little too glitz and glam I will say this, for my skin tone, this is probably the most everyday palette from Pat McGrath. So, ooh, let me just do it that way. Okay, so like these browns that are in here, these gold, oh, well, I, I'm pointing the wrong direction, but you get the drift. Let me see if I can cover this up, the mirror up. Okay, I mean, you've, you've, you've seen this, okay. But look at those colors. I have to swatch in another video. I'm actually on my way to an appointment, but I wanted to film this video before I left. So uh, I definitely have to do like uh, a playing in new makeup video. I mean, I've already swatched it and had my fingers in it and I've already worn it a couple of times. So I'm not one of those people that can, can wait till I do the video before I swatch it and play in it. Like as soon as I got it, I was like, it's going on my face the very next day. Like. I almost am the kind of person that is like, it's gonna go on my face today, but like, I try not to do that. So, a couple more things I picked up. So that's all that I picked up from Pat McGrath doing her sale, and it was 30% off, so 
Now the blushes weren't included in the sale and the limited edition wasn't included in the sale because if it was, I would have picked up a backup flesh seven, but I went ahead and got the full size flesh three. So I also, I bought more eyeshadow. Now listen, I have told y'all that makeup is like cooking for me. Like I like to have all the ingredients. Like I have my standard pots and pans and knives, right? Like base products, even though I just placed an order on Sephora yesterday. I digress. But I love, 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 love the texture of Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. And I already have her bronze eyeshadow palette. I have several. I have bronze. I have Biba. I have Metropolis. But my favorite shape and size from her is the 15 pan, like the bronze. So she has a bundle on her website where you can get... Um, sunrise and love together at a discount so they're normally $65 each but and so it's, you know in a in a bundle that wouldn't if you bought them separately they'd be 130 but the bundle is 110 okay first of all can we just get into the packaging can we can we can we just and so a lot of people feel like you know sun uh, sunrise and is a little too strong for them. Um, like the pigmentation is a little too strong, but what I realized because of my deep skin tone, like it's full of transition shades for me. So this is the sun, like, oh, it's gorgeous. I've already played in this too. I'm using some of this today. Um, this, These are the colors. Do you see that? Gorgeous, I mean, even some of these lighter shades, like this one shows up on me. This whole side of the palette works for me. Like I can use these. Actually, this is one of the few palettes in my collection where like I can use every single color. And I love this color scheme because I love a warm-ish eye. So this is Sunrise. Like I said, I'll have to come back and do like a swatch video um, or like a, a playing in new makeup video. And then I also, like I said, in that bundle, picked up um, the Love Palette, okay, which is like pink and purpley. And so sometimes I really like, you know, when I want less of a warm eye, I want more like of a pinky, soft, romantic eye. And this does it for me. This shade right here, gorgeous. Oh, it matches my nail polish. Gorgeous. This shade. This shade works in the crease for me. So does that one. Like you have something to deepen it up with. Like her more pigmented palettes really work for me. I have some of it on my eyes today. I have a couple of things. I have um, Sunrise on my eyes today. I have a little bit of Bronze Seduction. And I also have a little bit of Wayne Goss. <laughs> so it's a very simple eye, but there's... <laughs> There's lots going on there. Okay, so I picked those two up. Okay, and then I picked up a couple more things. I wanted to try um, the lip treatments from Fresh, the sugar uh, lip balm. So I picked it up in the shade Poppy. I went into Sephora the other day. And um, I, you guys know I love a tinted lip balm, okay? So this is the shade. It's it's gorgeous. Oh, I could have wore that today. Um, this is the shade in Poppy. I love that it's like a twist cap. This is metal. Um, I actually really like this. Like when I want just like a, like a hint of color, when I don't want to be you know this neutral and still have shine, I'm loving this. They have lots of colors, but I think this is probably gonna. I swatched several, and I think this will be the one that I have. I don't know if I'll get any others because I just think this is like the color that I want in this kind of formula that's sheer like it really would have went well with my blush colors i have two colors on today this is a mix of paradise venus from pat why is there lint on my face anyway this is a mix of paradise venus from pat mcgrath and also cherish on the cheeks so but poppy lip shine enjoying that and then y'all i don't know if you noticed but you've never seen me in false lashes okay here's a couple of reasons why a, my natural lashes are very curly. I don't know if y'all can see that, 
but they're very very curly like I actually have to back comb my lashes down a little bit or they'll like curl up on themselves so I don't like use a lash curler or anything I also really prefer a natural lash like like for every day um, like I really like this look however there are times when I want to do a stronger eyeshadow look and my lashes ain't cutting it okay they they need to, they, they need a little bit more drama and I don't want like huge you know like broom sweep lashes and so I actually found out that Ardell which I heard is like a great starter lash uh, for people you know their wispies are very popular and then also I think the wispies are popular and the demi wispies are very popular okay what I did not know is that they have a baby demi and baby wispies so different shapes and I'll show them to you so this is the wispy style but typically let me see if you can see that okay that's the wispy style but these are baby wispies so they're not as long and dramatic and I was like Ooh, I want to try these. I ordered these off of Amazon. And the same thing with the Demi. So like you can see with the um, Baby Wispies, like it's kind of longer in the middle and short on the outer edges. Whereas with the Demi Wispies, traditionally they are shorter. Are we going to focus? Focus. Oh, there we go. They are shorter on the inside and they kind of flare out, but these are shorter than the traditional Demi style, right? So I thought this would be great little enhancements to my lashes. And I also ordered like a latex strip lash, adhesive, latex free strip lash adhesive. Um, I'm gonna try that out from Amazon. So listen, Pray for my eyelash game. That is not my strong suit. I don't, I'm definitely not a person, at least at this point in time, who's like an everyday lash wearer. I like to just be able to pop on my mascara, you know, define it with a little bit of like smoked eyeshadow or eyeliner like I've done today and be on my way. And I will say, depending on, type, on the type of mascara that I use, I get great results. This mascara that I'm wearing today is okay. Um... It's, it's not given all that I know my lashes can do, but it works, okay? So that's it, you guys. Some lashes and lash glue. Um, a sugar lip balm. I might put this on because I think it would go great with my cheek, but I'm about to put a mask on because I'm about to leave. Um, the Flesh 3 Lip Balm from Pat McGrath. Foundation, concealer. I'll have to keep you updated about this foundation. I. The thing is, there's not another color that will work for me, even though this one is a little red. So I tried to balance it out with some different things today. Um, bronze Seduction. I'm so excited to like really, really play in this. And then also two more from Natasha Den oh, from Natasha Denona. I will say, I think I have two more eyeshadow palettes coming from Viseart. And after that, I just want two quads. And I think that my eyeshadow collection will be complete for now. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers are on like the latest and greatest, you know, buying thing. That's probably not the angle that I'm going to take. I want to use what I have. I want to just play, you know. Um, but again, eyeshadow blushes and lip products are the things that they give me. But I am in the process of wanting to try some new primers. Um, some new bronzers. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Primers and bronzers. So, uh, and I may, even though I have, at this point, this gives, puts me at three foundations, which, I, like I said, I, I don't, I don't need 12 foundations. There, I do want to try the new, one. I do want to try the Dior concealer, and there are a, a, a few foundations that I want to try, but we'll wait and see. We'll probably do that later in the year. Well, that's it, ladies. Thank you so much for watching. I will have all the products linked below in the description box for your convenience if you're curious about anything. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Peace.